Good evening, and welcome to the Villainous Times for Wednesday, um, July 17th, 2012. We're going to let our tongue ramble on randomly, <clears throat> even though my brain can't keep up because that's my mental stammer is that my tongue moves too fast and my brain moves a little bit too slow, but I'm trying to keep up, uh, well, hone that skill, I guess is the easiest way to say it, but it's not going so well, because as you can tell, I'm having little mental gaps in the gaps in my tongue where I'm not speaking, and I should be saying something so that something is being conveyed. But obviously something's not being converted from thought into speech. So anyway, um, serious mood. Why am I in a serious mood? Uh, because while I'm not opposed to any form of religion, yeah, let's do religion. <clears throat> while I'm not opposed to any form of religion, I am opposed to sleeping citizens inside of it. And those slumbering, silly, blue pill people that lack personality, that are purely involved with the manifestation of a spiritual entity or creation story uh, on behalf of their own desire for comfort and or emotional appeasement, that I do have a problem with. And um, I'm not going to blame them. I don't have any hatred for them because in the moment, uh, they might not have any idea. Thus, they're slumbering. And that's why my stance against them is not against them as in <clears throat> the individual, unless they choose to stay sleeping. And then, of course, you need to drink them out. At least, at least I do. But uh, it normally never happens because I really don't have time to wake an individual. I do have time to give people the opportunity to wake. And that's why uh, I dress like this. I look pretty handsome tonight. Wearing my new glasses because I had to get picked up some new frames for super cheap. Uh, and I'm wearing my favorite tie, my favorite shirt, one of my favorite shirts. And um, so, yeah, uh, what I do is this right here. Mm -hmm. If you can see it, it's um, this um, token, aka wristband, that I found quite some time ago, years in fact, uh, about eight years ago. It's just a silver little heart uh, that I put on my wrist, and it's basically wearing the heart on the end of my sleeve. My compassion and who I am is who I am in the moment. And uh, as I've said before, some moments do have system requirements, and other moments do not. Other moments allow me to be whoever I want to be, um, when I want to be it, in regards to giving other people the opportunity to smile. Because <coughs> smiling, obviously... It's one of the most important facets of human existence. So therein, uh, back to religion, if you are in religion and you aren't earnestly smiling uh, at other people without uh, any sort of preconceived notions of comparison whereby you appear more satisfied or comfortable or better in any regard, um, well then, you need to reevaluate. Uh, and just to let you know, comparison was brought to us by the devil. He compared himself to God, and look where that got him. And subsequently, us. Right, yes. Uh, so, yeah. So, I don't care what you believe, but I do care how you live it. So, for instance, um, <clears throat> Mr. Richard Dawkins has uh, uh, used some quite uh, angry uh, high intellectual verbiage against, uh, towards the entity, uh, that would be God, uh, the, uh, entity of, uh, you know, intelligent design, uh, and that theory behind that, um, which is, in my mind, just as preposterous, quote-unquote preposterous, as is the preposterous of, um, evolution, which is something from nothing. In essence, because really, <clears throat> when you boil down either side to the very beginning, like to where it all started, because essentially that's what it is, is where did this side start, where did this side start? Because without either starting point or a belief in the starting point, there's no, there's no reality to believe in either theory 
or either religion or either faith. Let's put it that way, because they're both faiths. There's uh, <clears throat> so if you believe that uh, in science, which is also includes logic and math uh, and the realm of physics, you know that something can't come from nothing. So you have faith that something once did. And if you believe in the uh, whole spiritual realm and the uh, the numinous, the feeling of something external, spirits or whatnot, <clears throat> which also includes the Holy Spirit, part of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, um, then that's just as equally preposterous. But and it, essentially, you can't make anyone believe what you believe, so it's it's pointless to really argue. But it is quite hilarious when you get down to the zombie Jesus part, and because that's just funny, because then you know that they're just mocking you and. The whole scenario by which you had a conversation to end up at Zombie Jesus was drooling for nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I don't care what you believe, I care how you live it. If you have any sort of morality, if you have any sort of um, virtue uh, and desire for love, uh, being loved. Because if you want to be loved, or you want to love, you want to fall in love, you have to be loved. And if you don't know what that is, if you have no idea, because uh, you've neglected, neglected to learn, well then, yeah, you have a problem. Because you can't live something you don't know. I mean, you can't help yourself adapt to each moment if you don't know what that should look like, or could look like, or could potentially look like in relating to your partner and reciprocating to their needs. <clears throat> so there are obviously books and things you can learn uh, if you read about that. So uh, I think I'm going to make this part two because this is kind of long. So we're just going to keep going. So yeah, um, the, other <clears throat> the other thing I believe that's kind of unique is uh, anybody can give you truth. Um, some people that say that only certain truths can come from certain uh, individuals, uh, pastors and whatnot. But I believe you can learn something uh, that it resounds as truth to who you are as a human being. Uh, specifically just yourself or the broad spectrum of everyone stuck in the human condition um, from almost anyone people can teach you all sorts of things now of course there are certain people that can't teach you anything because they're totally sleeping and they are devoid of any sort of interaction with you other than so so playing a video game so complete Call of Duty it's awesome and then you play a Call of Duty and they're like oh yeah yeah so, so, kill you, bag. Because that's the type of lingo they use. <clears throat> of course, they'd use much worse things as well. But, um, so yeah, what you believe uh, is the key factor. And I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this before, but this uh, one was a little bit longer, had a little bit more youth scope, and I look better in it. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, um, People, everyone, every marriage uh, within the realm of uh, any sort of religious faction is going to be equally yoked uh, because unless both people are equally aware of what they want to believe and how they want to live it, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter exactly uh, all the principles of your little nit and gritty uh, little belief points uh, and statements of faith, creeds, whatever. It matters how you're going to live that in a moment. And if you can respect one another, you can live with pretty much anyone of any religion or any opposing uh, nitty-gritties. Um, that said, you could also probably find uh, find it uh, acceptable to live with anybody that has the same dangly bits or lack of dangly bits of yourself and still hold to a moral compass and or religious faction belief. Um, because while the external may judge you, the truth of the whole, uh, of the actual uh, virtue, love, the reality itself, uh, the faith, the mode of faith, um, resounds to you as you being accepted. Because, um, <clears throat> as I believe, everything is individual. Uh, that's why I give you guys these videos. Everything is based on an opportunity. And the opportunity, uh, while being projected as this, is to a broad spectrum, uh, if I were to meet you in person, everything would be tailored towards you, whether you're uh, gay or transsexual or uh, transgender, same thing, I forget. 
um, or you're regular, or you're Hindu, or you're um, you're Muslim, or you're Mormon. I mean Mormon. <clears throat> Sorry, Mormon. Um, but probably not if you're if you believe in Scientology. Sorry about that. Or Mormon. Sorry about the joke. Really didn't. You know, that just kind of came out. This is raw, right? It's not. It really doesn't. The context of that doesn't really have any reality. So just forget it. Um. So yeah. Um. And again, this is broad spectrum. So my broad spectrum comedy is going to be different than if I'm speaking of individuality. So like when I do my Adam and Steve joke and the movement thing, um, they're both broad spectrum and they're not individual and they don't represent what I believe uh, about the particular individual within the faith uh, or the faith in a whole, uh, unless you're a Scientologist. In which case you're Sorry. Just point that out. <clears throat> So anyway, yeah, uh, and that's more or less just to make you aware of yourself in your belief, uh, and that's that's for you, not for me, uh, even though I may have offended you, I'm sorry. It's not to offend, it's to give opportunity for awareness uh, and smiles, and um, not smiles in so much as offense, but I guess I'm sort of okay with that. I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. I'll find out later. I certainly won't be doing what Daniel Tosh did. Which I'm going to talk about in part two. Or part one, depending on which one this is. Alright, I'll be right back.